say no to child labor and keep the industry secure. Popular Nollywood actress with a color, Regina Danes, don't call us on celebrities and movie producers. And she come narrate her encounter with 14 years old girl where we make up parties for one movie location. My people not be smart, you know. Regina Danes don't come drag some of her colleagues where they encourage child labor. She come talk about waiting they happen for the industry. As some celebrities and producers, they carry underage girls, they do some immoral since make could watch the video hello everyone there is something i want to share i went to location and i met a young girl she was wearing a short skirt and a crop top and then she walked up to me i was like good morning auntie i said good morning how are you she said fine and she turned and she was like auntie do you need the mirror and i was like mirror no why who are you and then she said i'm the makeup artist I looked at her, I said, makeup artist, because she was obviously young. Then I asked, how old are you? She said, I'm 14 years. Trust me, I know the industry. The industry is a very dangerous place for young girls. I was there, but I was opportuned to have a really strong mother. A mother that was constantly on my neck, a mother that was feared by lots of people, so they would just give me space. They knew, ah, that's Mama Regina's daughter. You know, they all gave me space. So I said, where is your boss? Call him. He came. He was also a young guy. I was like, when did you start working with this girl? He said, a day before yesterday, like a day before that day. So I said, okay. I'm a very inquisitive person, especially when it involves young girls. Then I asked, why are you not in school? Where are your parents? She said, uh, they're in Port Harcourt. So what are you doing here? When did you come here? She said, she came here last year. I said, okay, you mean you came here when you were 13 years? She said, yes. So where do you sleep? She said, different hotels. I said, different hotels. I looked at her again. I said, that means you have enough money to lodge yourself. She said, no, auntie. So I, I just, when I go, I, I just ask anybody, uh, can I follow you and sleep in your room? And I said, okay, you ask only women or men and women. She said, Any, anybody, she will ask them. I said, okay, so have you slept in a man's room? She said, yes. I was like, have they tried to sleep with you? She said, eh, yes, but sometimes she knows to agree and sometimes she will run. I said, okay. I could immediately feel that this girl is losing it. Then I said, you know what? You must go to school. You must go back to your parents and I will take care of you. I will sponsor your school till you're done. And she said, no, auntie, I, I don't want to go back to my parents' house. I said, so what do you want me to do? Because I can't leave you here. I was on that set with mommy, Norma Upabi. So mommy Norma also told me that, yes, that she also saw this girl and that she wanted to help her, but she was, you know, scared that she didn't know anyone with the girl. And I help a lot of girls, but at least through your parents or someone related to you. But she had none. She had no way of contacting them or anything. So I said, okay, I will register this case in the police station just for them to have a record. But you will go to school. How have you been working? She said she has been working with different celebrities and then um, different crew members. She mentioned a few. I just began to wonder, those celebrities, are they senseless? Or the crew members? Okay, let me leave aside the crew members because some crew members deceive young girls. Come, come, I have rules for you. Come, 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 we can make you a star. And when young girls come, they end up taking advantage of them. That's what they do. Some of them, I said. And then... But these celebrities, 
they know what it is to be in the industry. They know what they went through because I know they went through a lot. You cannot just come out and, you know, you you make it there. There are a lot of people that would want to take advantage of you. It takes only the grace of God for you to meet someone straightforward that will just help you till you are there. I had other crew members around that kept saying, ah, mama, just leave this girl. Oh, ah, this, this one, this one, don't go. This one is not even that type of a person you think. Just leave them. I looked at her again and she was still looking at me. She was so open, like an open book. She would talk. I said, do you want to go to school? She said, yes, I want to go to school. I said, okay. I took her to one of the best schools in Delta State, a boarding school. I didn't care about the cost because I believe every young girl can be molded. I'm not helping certain girls because oh, I, I need them to work for me as an assistant or I need them to do something. I don't need anything from them. The society is bad as it is. And we know that young girls are at the mercy of the society. Guys can defend themselves. But you see the girls, they will forever be at the mercy of the society. The underprivileged ones. So, this girl went to school. Her first test came out. She was supposed to be in GSS 3, but she couldn't make it in GSS 3 because obviously her brain was so polluted with trying to walk, trying to hustle, you know, with various men or people. I asked her a really intimate question and she still told me, which really broke my heart. Her test came out and she did excellently well. She got a total of 90 over 100. And she told me, Ah, Auntie Regina, I promise I'll, I'll, I'll make you proud. This was now the first test this girl wrote in Genesis 1 and she did excellently well. Which means that she really wanted to go to school, but there was no opportunity. Why I'm making this video now is because. I urge other celebrities do not encourage child being. When you go on set and you see young girls, my problem is you know the industry. You know how bad it is. You know that there are producers and there are crew members that constantly want to sleep with these girls. You know it. If you see them, send them home. If you can't send them home, or if they don't want to go back home, you please help them. I've said it to myself. If I go to any production again, and I see a young girl, again, there, trying to walk, I will fight with the producer. Believe me, I will fight you. So it's either you don't call me, or you make sure that you have capable hands. And not having girls that you take advantage of. Now this girl, I am so proud of her. I'm so proud of where she is now. But these celebrities that she mentioned, that she worked with, that was terrible. She explained her experiences so far. She told me a lot that happened to her. I believe that if you empower one girl, you are indirectly empowering many others. Because that one girl will be opportuned to help others. So please, Say no to child people. Thank you. Regina Daniels talk as she say help one underage girl where she see for movie locations. Say she know the way things they go for the industry. My people, upon the good things where Regina don't talk, say she do. Many people for the comment section say they bash her. Say she will marry old man. See they talk. Make I read some of the comments for now. This one tells say coming from a young girl that's married her grandfather. I beg go and sit down. The next person said, the same way you go marry your grandpa with five wives, you were underprivileged and at the mercy of the society. Another person could say, the advice you are giving really makes sense, so, but not be you supposed to give this kind of advice. So, madam, rest. My people, don't be smart, you know, they drag Regina Daniel for the comment section. Say, she still marry 
old man for young age. Some people for the comment section see they praise her. Say she not a good person for she to do that kind of thing. Some people they praise her, they pray for her, they just say they really they proud of her. My people make I drop the comments for them, make her read about herself. Make I leave now for them, my people. Make I not forget to drop an opinion for the comment section. Till I come your way again next time. May blessed and bye bye for now.